Ninja does not want me doing this test. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ninja God. I'm sorry I'm telling everyone about this. All right, what's up guys? I'm Kenna with Kenna's Kitchen and today we are looking at the Ninja Never Dull Solo Knife Sharpener. Now I did a review on this, but today we're gonna see if it will sharpen any knife that you have. Does it have to be Ninja? It says not to sharpen non-Ninja knives because it will damage and take away your warranty. And that is why I'm doing it here today. That way you don't have to risk your warranty and we'll know the answer by the end of this video. So my mother was nice enough to gift me her century old knives. <laughs> I'm afraid to tip it, I'm afraid to reach my hand in there, I'm afraid to tip it over. <laughs> Although none of them are gonna cut me. So that's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye knife set. Okay, so we've got six old, rusty, corroded, bent, dull, and broken tipped knives here. And we are going to first see how they cut tomatoes currently. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> and then we are going to give them a sharpen on the Neverdoll Solo Knife Sharpener that I have right here and give them a new tomato cut test. What I'm worried about is they like lock into place. So I don't think it's gonna work. No. We'll see, so this is how it does work. You put it in, clicks into place, and then you sharpen it. But, and then to release it, yeah, I can see that, like the non-releasing yeah. of it. We'll see, we're gonna answer those questions so you don't have to. So we've got our table chair leg knife. <laughs> it looks like a table chair leg. <laughs> it literally slid off. Are you freaking it's kidding me? Does it <laughs> cut? Cut it off. So anything would be an improvement. <laughs> Your mom was using these knives for, like, for years. All right, now we've got the corroded wooden handled Ooh, knife. Yeah. Damn it. If you don't think I'm actually pressing down, you can see it. All right, now we've got this one. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> that one fails too. All right, now we've got this. Oh, it's bent. Can you see that? Oh, we, oh, we have penetration. <laughs> so this one works. Old, trusty, rusty. It's still a little bent at the top. We're gonna cut another slice for our Sammy. So we're gonna take this pirate's knife here. Pirate knife. It has like a pirate vibe to it. All right, another slice for our Sammy. Yeah, it's muscling through there. It yeah, cut. It cut. It did not cut well. Okay, all six knives have been tested. Three work, three don't. So I have here the utility knife from Ninja. And I'm gonna show you what a proper tomato cut should look like, should feel like. You're not gonna feel it, but you're gonna feel it through the camera that it's <laughs> smooth and effortless. Ready? Ready. Oh my God. You felt that, didn't you? I, I felt that one. You felt it. <laughs> All right, so that was a proper knife cut. All right, and now on to the test. So let's go with this one that we started with. So on the Neverdoll Solo Sharpener, or on all of the systems, you've got a small handled knife entrance hole and a big handled knife entrance hole. Now this utility knife is a small handle. Now all these handles are different. I'm going to go in the larger handled and I'm just gonna hope and pray. Let me see what's going on here. All right, it's in there. I heard it's it. sharpened. I heard it. I'm holding really tightly on the yeah. top because it's not going to click in. All right. So I sharpened it about eight times. It kind of looks sharper. I have a good feeling about this. It right. sounded like it sharpened. It does cut. So it does cut. I'm going to sharpen it about 10 more times. I lost count. So we're gonna go back to this first tomato here and just kind of cut right here. I can feel it sharpening like here. And then I feel like it tapers off at the end. It's like sharpening until it kind of gets to this curve. Oh, I see. 
So, but I'll, I'll, I'll test it here. Let's test the curve. Yeah, see it's kind of, doesn't really wanna, it is, but it doesn't want to as much as, let's see. Yeah, this back one. Look at that! Ooh. Now I'm not gonna say it's the sharpest knife in the West, but it did sharpen from where we started, which was nowhere. All right, second blade here with the corrosion and all. This one did not cut our tomato pre-sharpen. We're gonna go in the big handled one because it will not go in the small handled one. And again, I'm gonna hold it tight and kind of push the blade as far back that way as I can. That was 10. All right, same tomato as before. Ooh, still not wanting to cut. Let me try to get in the very back where it started to sharpen. Yes. This one could be the shape. I don't know. I don't know. All right, now for this guy. Yeah, that's kind of more or less the shape of the, you know, the ninjas. Yes, so I'm gonna put this in the large handled section because it's such a big knife. Now remember, this one did not cut either. So we're gonna go down. Oh, that's promising. Ooh, sounds good. Uh-oh. Let me try and release it. Oh, it did release. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Ready? Hey, got sharper. Let me take more of like a meaty part of this. Well, it did cut a tomato this time. So that's progress. That is progress. And I do want to say the Ninja Knife set does say to sharpen it like every two. Ninja does not want me doing this test. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ninja God. I'm sorry I'm telling everyone about this. So it says in the like manual, keep your knives sharp by sharpening them every two weeks and doing like 10 strokes. Now these haven't been sharpened in 27 years. So, so maybe it needs like 270 strokes to actually get it really sharp. It is showing progress. I'm gonna say each one of these have cut a tomato after sharpening and they were not able to cut a tomato before sharpening. And now we're moving on to this guy. The shape is promising. Yes, and this one did cut a tomato. Right. It just did not cut one very well. Look at that. Is it sharper than before, you said? Sharper than before. All of these barely cut tomatoes beforehand. Two left. So we will do the Hampton. This is probably a more um, common knife that you would see in someone's kitchen because it's newer. Again, all of these are at least 20 years old. This one is gonna be at your Kroger's or your Walmart's. And we're gonna go in the big handled slot here. Fits. All right. Let's do the tomato test. Better. Much better. Oh yeah. That's a good knife. That's been revived. I trust this knife again. You know, they say the most dangerous knife is a dull one. That's what they say. They'll get you. Those, oh, but the brand new sharp ones will get you too, so, because you're not used to them being so sharp. Yes, all right, now this one. This is the reason I waited for last. It's too long, technically. It's longer than any of the Ninja knife. Sharpen the whole way down. All right, the last side of the tomato. It did cut. Wow. Okay, guys, they all got sharpener. Sharper? They all got sharper, and I only sharpened them between 10 and 15 times, so you could really just go to town and get them really sharp, so I feel great about that. This thing has the wheel. Put all the way down. So it's got this sharpener. You just lift it up. Um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, you pull this pin out. And there is your sharpener, your sharpener wheel. Um, it's clearly dirty of shards of 20 year old gunk goo. And so you can just clean that out with a toothbrush. You can replace them on Ninja's website. So that's kind of cool. If you're looking for a sharpener that'll last and you don't have to, you know, replace the entire unit. 
Um, yeah, I'd say that it does. It works for other knives. It does. You don't just need to have ninja knives. They sell this separately for I think like 45, 50 bucks. There will be a link in the description below if you want one for yourself. If you want the entire set, there will also be a link there. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed showing you guys this little test and I will talk to you guys soon. I'll see you later, bye. We are postpartum productions, woo! <laughs> This is the first video back after having our little baby Tyson crash and I'm rusty. What can I say? It's been a while. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right. One more time. Let me give it a go and if not, I'm moving on.